Hey guys, so to start off today, we're going to look at some comma rules. Now this is mainly a review, uh, but commas are going to come up during poetry, so it's good to have this refresher. So a question on a test um, might be about how is the comma being used. So here are just four rules to remind you. So commas can separate two independent clauses. Mr. Edwards is out today. That's an independent clause because it could be its own sentence. The class has a great substitute. That's an independent clause because it could be its own sentence. So you combine the two independent clauses with a comma and a fanboy. So here the comma is functioning by separating independent clauses. Here, after calling into Frankfurt, Mr. Edwards created a video lesson for his students. That set off the introductory phrase of after calling into Frankfurt. Another way, set off a, either a quote or a series of quotations. Mr. Edwards said, comma, then quote. Make sure your phones are in the parking lot, which I hope you did not forget to do. So uh, that is another comma rule. The fourth comma rule to separate items in a list. So the students are learning about ballads, comma, commas, comma, and refrains. So like I said, the test might appear, a question might appear like, what would be the effect of inserting a comma between the words word A and word B uh, could be bringing up these other things that we'll see once we start our poetry, but it could also your four answer choices. For instance, the practice that we're doing today, your four answer choices are going to be these, and you are going to decide how the comma is being used. So what you should do right now is pause this video. Miss Manning is going to pause this video, and you are going to do the practice on your own. And then after about uh, four minutes of you doing the practice on your own, Miss Manning is going to press play again. Um, and you are going to go over the answers. So everybody should be pausing the video and doing the practice right now. Okay, perfect. Hopefully you have had enough time um, to do that practice. So let's go over the answers. So number one says how is the what is the primary function of the comma in this slide? So number one, after the game we went to the arcade, that is to set off an introductory phrase, B. Number two, Henrietta asked, do you want to go with me? You see the quotation marks? So that would be um, C to set off a series of quotations. Number three, Peter Pan and Wendy, Hercules and Megara, Beauty and the Beast, and Snow White and the Seven Doors are all famous Disney groups. That would be D to separate items in a list. Number four, before we take the test, comma, we need to play Kahoot. That is setting off an introductory phrase. Number five, we are going to win the game and we are going to celebrate. Notice you have two full sentences there joined with a comma and a fanboy, so that would be to separate independent clauses. So five is A. Number six, I cannot decide between McDonald's McPick 2, Wendy's 4 for 4, or Burger King's 5 for 4. That would be items in a list. D. Number seven. Mr. Edwards said, put away your Chromebooks and get out your pencils for the test. Notice the quotes. So that would be to set off a series of quotations. So number seven is C. Number eight. According to Gwendolyn Brooks, comma, living a dangerous lifestyle can lead to an early death. That would be to set off an introductory phrase. Now that one is not a series of quotations because it doesn't give the direct quote. Number nine, many poems include close and exact rhyme, internal and in rhyme, and a rhyme scheme. That is a list, so it would be D. So number nine is D to separate items in a list. And number ten, the students wrote a haiku, comma, and Mr. Edwards was frustrated because they forgot it was based on syllables rather than words. That is two full sentences. It's not a list because it's only two items. It's two full sentences, so that would be A to separate independent clauses. So what you're going to do now is quietly and individually open up your Chromebooks to the commas exit slip on the daily agenda log. You're going to do that exit slip. When you're done with that exit slip, you're going to close your Chromebook to show Miss Manning that you are done. You have a lot to do after this, so you need to do this quickly. It should take you no more than three minutes. Thank you.